Hello, I'm your host, Dr. Johnson, Dr. Sonia Johnson. Okay, so we're waiting for some people to join us. Good afternoon. Uh, it's a nice Saturday. I hope you're getting some things done. Okay, so I'm going to just talk to you about some uh, quick things, uh, adding to the previous lectures. If you want to share the screen, just press the button at the bottom of the screen. Sharing is caring. If you would like to have a friend to listen to this broadcast, just tag them. Welcome to the Gorgeous Gold Skin Show. I'm your host, Dr. Sonia Johnson. I'm a board certified dermatologist and creator of the Gorgeous RX system. I help women who want to have even and clear skin tone with increased confidence. If they shoot, follow me on facebook.com forward slash Dr. Sonia Johnson. Today we're gonna to talk about kojic acid. So kojic acid is in the class of uh, bleaching creams or bleaching products rather. And kojic acid is actually made by fungi, and it is a byproduct of the rice wine uh, that we uh, purchase. But aside from that, uh, kojic acid helps to lighten dark spots. And what it does, it blocks the melon production. So kojic acid you can find in, it's, it's an over-the-counter product actually, so it's nothing that you need to get a prescription for, which is nice. You will use it, you know, at night, uh, but the concentrations are anywhere from one to four percent, and you want to stay around the two percent area, so you won't have the irritation that can occur with kojic acid. And that's usually the, the rate, the limiting factor with using of kojic acid is the fact that it does irritate your skin. This can be used for those acne uh, discoloration that occurs, you know, from your resolution of the acne bump. Uh, you can use this for aging, um, for those brown spots that we get, because again, that's increased melon, I mean, uh, increased pigmentation on the skin. So any areas that have discoloration, you can use this. And again, I think, I'm, uh, if you recall on the last lecture with hydroquinones, this is not something that works on that iron stain. Uh, so if you use kojic acid for a period of time, and you see is there's no resolution whatsoever. You can try a different product, something stronger like your hydroquinones, but um, again, if it doesn't go away, you're looking at more so a stain than a true increase in pigmentation. So with kojic acid, like I stated, it's once in, at nighttime. And not only is it in your creams, uh, serums, but it's also in soap. So sometimes you can find kojic acid mixed with glucothionone, which is another product that we can use to lighten the skin. But that combination is found in soaps, or you can find kojic acid by itself in soaps. And it actually works. So just keep that in mind. And I'm thinking you don't have that irritation with it because you rinse it off, which is nice. So you can get a higher concentration of the kojic acid, which is up to 4%. Um, to get those that lightening effect you're looking for. And so that's the new buzz. Um, it's been around for a while now, but that's the latest thing we can find kojic acid in is in the soap. So can, uh, again, this is another option to lighten those uh, brown spots or the uh, resolution of uh, a rash that left you with discoloration is the use of kojic acid, especially if you don't want to use hydroquinones. And so... Um, we will talk about some other options um, instead of kojic acid uh, tomorrow. And um, if you have any questions, okay. Well, until then, I'm your host, Dr. Sonia Johnson. I'm a board-certified dermatologist and creator of the Gorgeous RX system. I help women who want to have even and clear skin tone with increased confidence. If they shoot, follow me on facebook.com forward slash Dr. Sonia Johnson. Thank you again, and have a wonderful day. Take care.